In this video, I'm going to show you how to use masking in animation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our rectangle tool and we're going to give it a stroke, which is a black stroke, but no fill. And we'll draw a decent sized rectangle. And then I'll go ahead and just insert a frame at frame 24. And I'll go ahead and rename this layer Rectangle. Then I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to get, click on the first frame. And I'm going to make another rectangle. This time I am going to give it a stroke and a fill. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to draw over the rectangle that I already drew, but I'm going to draw a bigger one. So we need to make sure you draw one bigger than the size you already had. And let's call that layer Big Rectangle. We also want to make that, select that big rectangle and make it a graphic symbol. And we'll call it Big Rectangle. And we're going to grab the free transform tool. I'm going to move my axis down to the bottom left hand corner. So I drag that little circle in the middle to the bottom left hand corner. And then I'm going to move my mouse up to the top right hand corner. And I'm going to drag it up. So it's sort of like, it's sort of at an angle, like that. Then I'm going to insert a keyframe at frame 24 on the big rectangle layer. Actually, before I do that, I forgot to insert a motion tween. So there we go. Now I have a motion tween. Now in frame 24, I'll insert a keyframe and choose all. And right here, I'm going to move it so my rectangle is back down. And now between there, we have a motion tween where the rectangle is uh, going down. Now, to do my mask, all I have to do is right click on the big rectangle layer and I choose mask. And you notice it changes the way it looks. Then if I scrub through here, you can see what it does to my lines. So you can see as the rectangle would move down, it shows more of the line. So with a mask, what happens is that it shows you on the stage what the mask is over. So the rectangle started kind of upright and as the rectangle moved down it would show what's underneath it. And that's how a mask works. Now if I want to take that mask off all I have to do is right click and I can click on mask again. And it's gone. Okay, So that's how easy it is to add a mask. 